I went to uh, Israel recently. Anyone been to Israel? Anyone? You have oh, a lot of Jews here. I went with my lover, my partner, Elisa. We went to Israel, and I was doing a benefit there for two weeks. And we get to the hotel. This is totally true. We get to the hotel, and we're in the lobby. And the producers of the event are like, Judy, thank you so much for coming to Israel. We're so happy to have you. It is so wonderful that you come for so far uh, to perform here. Uh, and, you know, we're lessies, and they're not happy about it, but whatever. And I'm like, okay, you're welcome. Uh, so, listen, wanted to let you know that some of the audiences you're going to be performing for are very uh, religious, so we ask if you could please cover your arms and shoulders <laughs> out of respect and modesty. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> the guy is like 280 pounds. He has soup stains on his tie. He's spitting at me, and he has food in his beard. And I'm like, why don't we cover your face? How's that, Okay. <laughs> So, you know, I have stand-up gigs every night. I bombed. <laughs> That's a fucking Israel joke, asshole, okay? Oh, fuck you, I killed. So... Oh, my God. I have to explain everything to you people. So, I had a couple of three-quarter-inch sleeve things, so I was all excited. You know, I had stuff to wear, and I was, you know, all prepared. And every night I'd see them in the corner, like, Judy, nice, checking my outfit out. So finally, the last night, I don't even know where the hell we were because we were going right to the airport from there and they drove us. I think it was like a settlement and because the Palestinians were literally across the street and coincidentally, were also having a comedy show with a female headliner. <laughs> Not like they would let a woman do stand-up. Can you imagine that show? That'd be great, don't you think? That's a great joke to put on an album, don't you think? A, a burka joke that no one can fucking see. Anyway, so uh, I get on stage, and I knew this was my last night, you know, and it was the Jewiest audience I had ever seen. I mean, I'm not, the yarmulkes, the tzitzit, they're like, had a prayer before they laugh and a prayer after they laugh. It was like ridiculous. And uh, they asked if I needed a shidduch. And I was like, yeah, I've got to move to a fucking settlement and like make Shabbat dinner for me and my fucking 12 kids. I have one egg, okay? And it's dead. So I get on stage and at the end of the set, I was like, look, I just want to say I've had a wonderful time here in Israel. Um, and, uh, you know, all week I've been covering my arms and shoulders out of respect, out of modesty. And I just want to tell, uh, ask all the men in the audience, is this really preventing you from focusing on your Talmudic passage? Seriously. Are you having sexual feelings for me right now? Do you feel like you're cheating on your wife? I just need to know. What the fuck is this, by the way? Seriously, what is this? I used to play with this on my grandmother, and now I have it. Why? I fucking hate it. Let me tell you, I do planks every fucking day. I do that TRX bullshit. I do this. What the fuck, okay? And then my kids are always like, Mommy, oh, someone needs to work out. I'm like, really? You want to see what you did to this? How about I show you that, huh? <laughs> this right here. That's a vagina, okay? Thank you. That usually gets a laugh. All right, but not tonight on the tape-recorded show. All right. 